But yeah, it bothers me too because I'm like, it's two years later and I'm like that. No one would have remembered what happened because like things happen all the time in this mm-hmm. industry, you know. Um, but yeah, really, I feel like I have no answers either. Yeah. And it really sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because with something like that, you want you want an answer. Yeah. It's like you want to know why. Like why did that happen? But I feel like none of us are ever really going to have that answer. Well, exactly. And I know that she told me like – um, I think like a month before she's like, oh yeah, I tried to commit suicide and, but she laughed it off. Like mm-hmm. she was like, I tried doing, using aerosol cans or something to like, um, I don't know. She was how she was explaining it. And I was just, but she was like, haha, but it didn't work. I'm still here. Like God hates me. You know, she was kind of like laughing it off like mm-hmm. that. And so I just thought, oh, like, yeah, she's, she's just brushing it off. She's, she's fine. I didn't yeah. think of it in a bad way. I think a lot of people who, you know, see, people that it's so, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and yeah. it's so hard in the moment to recognize that somebody might be in danger of doing something like that because it seems so inconceivable to us. Well, yeah. Because obviously she fought with depression. I mean, she talked about it on this podcast, which surprised me. Uh, I didn't know that she dealt with all of that depression, but it seemed to me like it was something that she was dealing with and that she was coming out on top because people deal with depression all the time. Yeah. This is not an unusual thing. She, she, she buried it, but she also mm-hmm. like laughs it off. She, she yeah. tried to make it a, uh, something you could laugh about. You yeah. know, if you read her tweets her past tweets, it was like, she would say something that's kind of like a cry for help, but just laugh it off. And yeah. no one really took it seriously because it was just funny old, like, you know what? It's funny August. Yeah. It's a, a yeah. Prime example of people who use comedy to mask their pain, which yeah. is what a lot of comedians do, actually. Yeah. A lot of comedians are really miserable. I didn't know that. I was like, oh, that's uh, funny. They love No, life. they're, they're, they're often, I mean, there's a lot of cases of comedians who commit suicide wow. as well. It's not that uncommon. Wow. So, um, you know, or have serious drug problems, but comedy is, is something that a lot of people use to deal with pain. I think we all do that to a certain yeah. extent, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah, I just wish that we caught the the signs before, but you, know. you just never know until it's too late. Yeah. But yeah, I miss her a lot. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. know. I, I can, I miss her too. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you feel like is maybe like a tiny glint of a silver lining from this? Do you feel that maybe we learned something from her death? I want to, I want to say yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but I still see people fighting on Twitter and Mm -hmm. trolling each other on there. And, um, I just feel like it was a really shitty thing. I can't explain. I can't, you know? Yeah. I, and maybe I, it's just the, my tendency to always try to look for something positive, but I feel that since then people have been more open and receptive to, and obviously not everybody. You're always going to have trolls. People are always going to be unkind. People are always going to be hateful. That's just the world. Mm-hmm. Like that's never going to change. But I do feel like I've seen other performers kind of step up when they see a girl who's struggling or a cry for help. I know that I've had girls reach out to me and say, hey, so-and-so is struggling. Can you contact them? I know that Pineapple Support, yeah, that's you, good. Yeah. you know, which is a resource for mental health and awareness in our industry, I feel like has kind of risen up out of the ashes of August's death. And obviously there was, there was other people who, you know, encountered, um, there was other deaths at this, in the same year. It was a terrible year. It was, yeah, that was a terrible month though. Yeah. Like, but no, a lot of good has come out of it. And I don't want to say like, you know, yeah. but definitely a lot of performers are saying how they feel. And I remember it was like, the whole year people would say, Hey, I have like this mental illness and like Mm -hmm. I have, and they were, they felt okay to talk about it. And Mm -hmm. that's something that was really, that was good. That came out of it. But I mean, no one should have to die for people to. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that any amount of social awareness um, can ever make up for, you know, the loss of her. Yeah. So, but I am happy though that, that people are speaking up and asking for help instead of just Dealing with it and covering it. And, yeah, because yeah. that's that's the hardest thing. And there's a stigma um, around mental health in our industry and in the world in general. And I feel like we're only now just starting to talk about it and starting to accept it. Because before you would, you know, so often ridicule people who had mental problems. It's such an easy thing to do to kind of 
brush people off and be like, oh, they're crazy. They're crazy. Yeah. yeah. They need to go to an asylum or something. It's like, yeah. no, like actually a lot of people have mental illnesses. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, I don't think it is normal now to, to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's normal to talk about it. And I think, um, but I do think there's a severe lack of resources mm-hmm. for it in this country. And, you know, a lot of times, and it's just one of those interesting things that can be a combination of so many different things. It's not always like a childhood trauma or, you know, growing up in a, a emotionally distant family or, or whatever the case may be. But a lot of times it's just brain chemistry. You think? Yeah, absolutely. That's why. Like a chemical imbalance or something? Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, like a chemical imbalance in your brain. And that's why um, certain medications work really, really well for some people. Yeah. And, but not for everybody. And I think it's just one of those things that, you know, you spend a lifetime untangling. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.